What's up guys? Big B here, finally back in the garage to start up some new projects. I took some time off through the new year, had to move, just got the new shop set up. Just wanted to do a quick review on some of the projects I got coming up this year and uh, keep you guys up to date with what's going on. So first off with the DBXL, um, the last time I took this thing out, I had a huge wreck, blue tires, so we just put on our big monster tires on here and it had a big blow out here. Just ripped the tire to shreds. Um, I got some replacement tires and rims for it, so we're gonna give it another shot. I think we need to adjust some of the suspension and get this front end to stay more planted on the ground when I'm hitting that throttle because this thing wants to lift and then all of a sudden the front tires are just ballooning like crazy and then we had the blowout. Also, I had a rack on it really bad and kind of really tweaked this back wing it's really slanted down it's broken a few spots still got dirt all up in it uh, i need to strip it down check out see if there's any kind of uh, fractures or solid breaks in any of the components in there it seems to still drive okay but with the wing lean and crooked i know we got some kind of bracing or something else that's broken there so i got this project coming up next the 10 scale custom crawler i started we got the rolling chassis set up. I have ordered up some electronics for it. I need drive shafts, We've got to get the transmission and we need all the electronics for it. This is gonna be a really sick project. So this is coming up here in the, in the near future. I've been sitting on this Sin Racing F450 Dually for quite a while now. Um, it's a gorgeous truck. I absolutely love it. It's a nice big scale and uh, lots of details. It looks sick. I just haven't really, come up with what I want to do with it yet um, so it's just been kind of sitting for a while I really want to get this project up and running I either want to do a rebuild either putting a lift kit on it and jacking it up bigger tires just monster truck it out or maybe try to come up with some kind of custom suspension and be able to drop it down with like a hydraulic or an air ride suspension and uh, do a lowrider with it I don't know it's kind of up in the air still, but let me know what you guys would like to see with that. I mean, the truck is so BA and there's a lot we can do with it, whether we go up or we go down. I think it's going to look sick either way. So let me know. I also have a new 18th scale carpet racer to go with Razzle here and BB. So uh, I got something that will fit right in there and it's right in the same category as that, but it's not a buggy. We'll kind of leave it at that. So we'll have to do an unboxing video and a test run with that and kind of compare the features between the other vehicles and the new one once we get that unboxed. So yeah, I do have some extra tires here for the fifth scale low C buggy. So we'll have to get those swapped out. And like I said, after we do some suspension changes, try and get that front end to sit on the ground a little bit. Um, this thing is just so freaking fast, man. And it's stock motor, stock everything, but it's just so quick and powerful. I absolutely love it, but we definitely can't be having this kind of issue with the tires blowing out like that. Still got a few other projects here as well that I need to work on. Um, I'm probably going to be selling the two slashes and uh, maybe using that revenue to pick up something new. But a big project that's coming up that has been highly requested from you guys is continuation of my 24 scale crawler course. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and check out the playlist. I got a couple obstacles that I created. They really came out good. It was my first try on any kind of crawler course, build or anything like that. And I think I did a pretty good job. The obstacles came out sick. Um, everything was pretty well detailed. Used the airbrush, kind of get some nice shadowing effects on, on the rock faces and stuff. It really came out good. However, when I moved, both of the obstacles got completely thrashed. Um, I had separation issues. One of the areas got crushed down. So I completely just wiped them, got rid of them. And I'm going to be starting after this video, a new build series for the 24 scale crawler course version two, baby. I'm really psyched about that. I started collecting some materials. I got a couple pieces of four foot by four foot uh, ply board here. Um, I've Picked, started picking up some other materials. I got my plaster cloth. I got my my gravel rope and my bushes. Uh, also picked up a bag of lava rock. 
This is something that I've never seen used in this kind of application before. However, I had a few ideas and I scoped out a couple different materials and I think this is really going to work well because it, it just has that real nice rugged natural look to it and feel. However, the lava rocks, this is the type of rocks that you put in like your, um, like your gas fireplaces and stuff. They're big rocks, but, but they're super light. They don't weigh like a regular rock that you find out in the dirt ways. Um, so it's really going to work well with the sizing and everything on this. I think it's going to be a really sick component for this version 2 build. Got some expanded foam. I got some other materials. I also picked up like some of this. This is like a rubber diamond plate and it has a stick back. I'm going to be able to cut this down, maybe make like a, like a treaded, um, bridge path or something I, I just i found some of these at a at the local ace hardware store so i picked some up and i want to see what i can do with those but anyways version two guys it's going to be coming out and what i'm going to do is i'm still going to keep the crawler course modular so i can use several of these four foot by four foot boards so we'll have an entrance and an exit point from the course but i'm going to be able Two, you can see the scale of the truck there. I'm gonna be able to make a nice trail with multiple obstacles on each module instead of one obstacle per module. And I think that's gonna be the big difference on this version two course. I'm gonna be able to get a lot more per board. So that's why I went with the four foot by four foot. I'm really looking forward to this build, guys. Hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. You're not gonna to wanna to miss this. This has been, the 24 scale crawler course is the biggest hype of any of my videos that I've that I've had on my channel. So I'm really excited to get back into this and, and provide you guys with some new fresh content on the 24 scale crawler course. I've really been given a lot of thought to some of the new obstacles I wanna use. I'm still gonna use some of the stuff that I've done in my past crawler course, cause I did like how some of those came out, but I might modify it in a, in a way. Um, but also I want to, I want to add some new elements to my course that I have never seen anyone use before. Um, I don't want to give too much away. You're going to have to wait for the series for that, but it's really going to come out sick. I've been doing a lot of research. I've been doing a lot of testing on the side behind the scenes. And, uh, and I think I got some stuff down. That's really going to blow you guys away with that crawler course. Um, also with the 24 scale, this is my only car that I've had. Uh, and that's my Bronco. I did have done a modifications to it, but I've kind of kept it simplistic and kind of scaled. I didn't really go too crazy on this build or anything. I wanted to keep it in kind of its natural form, but yet still modified. Um, however, with this new version two, I picked up some new 24 scale models. So we're gonna be able to add some vehicles to the fleet and we'll be doing an unboxing video with those and instantly jumping into some modifications for the new trucks. Um, that way they are ready to go for when we get the first module done of the new course. I'm really pumped guys. I got a lot of projects coming up. It's time to start jumping into this stuff and cranking them out. I can't wait to show you guys what I come up with. Let's jump right into it.